Hi guys, Jordan here. I want to do a review of the Lamy Studio. Um, this pen retails for $179 in Australia. Uh, on the website, it does say special price $130. I have no idea what that means, but special price $130. Can't argue with that. This pen is the pen that most people get to replace their first pen, which is almost always a Lamy Safari. Uh, it's a lot heavier. It feels a lot nicer. Uh, it's got a polished little top, polished little bottom, and yeah, it's just kind of, it feels very nicely designed and finished. Um, I'll start with my first and probably only, actually, you know what, I've got two criticisms of the pen. Um, it comes off, the, the lid comes off very smoothly. Um, it's very smooth. Uh, it clips on the back quite nicely. Um, very good click. Uh, I'm clumsy. I'm very clumsy. So often I'll be walking around and um, my pen will be in my notebook, whatever. The lid will just come off. Yep, my fault, absolutely, but it'll come off um, because, as I said before, I'm clumsy and that then I'll just get ink everywhere because I'm clumsy as per my previous email. Um, the Mami Safari pen thing, very tactile, click, this ain't going anywhere. This, boop, it's like comes off when you pick it up. So uh, that's annoying. The pen, as I said before, sticks on the back quite nicely. It's not going anywhere, it's very nice. I have particularly messy handwriting, uh, so I don't need anything to help uh, further make my handwriting messy. Uh, this is a particularly heavy lid, uh, so all that weight at the back will just, you know. Uh, that's a technical term, by the way, look it up. Another criticism I have of the pen is that uh, this pit, this bit here, boop, is noticeably plasticky. Um, yes, you can't see it at all, so it's not an issue at all. Uh, but it's just, yeah, noticeably plasticky. Um, the pen does come with a converter, so you can use nice ink. Uh, I use it quite a bit for work um, and don't really have time to be doing that. So, yeah, uh, not for me, the converter, but, um, yeah, what can you do? Um, I've watched a few reviews about this pen, and they're all like, when they're talking about this bit, they're all like, mmm. Yes, and it's got a very fine little thing here. Mm, I don't know what it is. Um, it looks a bit like a propeller. Yeah, it's a propeller. That's what it's called. It's on the website. Just look that up next time, please. Um, this is a, is a thing. Um, I don't really put my pen in a pocket, so this really doesn't do anything for me. But if, if this thing does anything for you, that's quite tight, quite taut even. Um, <clears throat> That's really all I have to say about the pen. Uh, I'll do a little bit of a writing sample. I have a book here for writing. And I'll write. Well, on it, that's saved. The quick brown butthole jumps over this flower and relatively less quick butthole. This sentence, I mean, this portion of that is actually covered by this, so uh, I'm sorry about that. Never mind, just ignore that. Um, D, boom. Perfect, full stop, done. Um, this is, I don't know if you can see that in this thing, but this is actually an extra fine nib. Um, it's more like a fine. Um, I notice at um, the, as kind of 
Lammy's nibs get smaller, their tolerances stay the same. Um, so I think this is plus or minus 0 0.6 mils or something. So at the greater end of the tolerance for an extra fine nib, you'll have some overlap with the fine nib. Um, so for example, a extra fine plus 0 0.6 mils will be bigger than the fine, like wider than the fine at minus 0 0.6 mils. Um, so that's annoying. Uh, because, uh, yeah, this is this is not relatively fine. I don't have anything to compare it to. Um, but here you go. That's kind of the writing. It's pretty thick. Um, like, okay, let's get a ballpoint pen. This is a 0 0.5. Uh, this is a 1. Oh, 0 0.5. Yeah, you know what? It's probably better if I have something that I actually know the, the thickness for. This is 0 0.4. So, um, you know what, this is a completely different writing style, so let's just ignore that. Thanks for listening to me. Um, this has been my review of the Lamy Studio. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you have enjoyed. Thanks for listening and tune in next time when I probably review other things that are lying around the house because there's nothing to do in Melbourne because it's illegal to go outside. Thank you. Bye.